Right, this April will be the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Royal Air Force and the RAF's official museum at Cosford is having something of a spring clean to get ready. But as many of its exhibits are entire aircraft and some are suspended from ceilings of hangars, it's not quite the straightforward job you might think. Here's our reporter Joanne Rittle at RAF Cosford. Suspended from 30 metres in a hangar at RAF Museum Cosford are not only planes. Look closely and you'll see a specialist team doing some high-level work. They're cleaning and carrying out safety checks on eight planes in the Cold War exhibition. The view up here is spectacular. It's certainly a much better view than you might be able to get from the ground. When you're up close and personal around the planes, they do seem a lot bigger when you're right inside the front of them. Also, we get to have a sneaky peek inside the cockpits. The clean is particularly important this year. In April, the RAF will mark its centenary, so the museum will be very much in the spotlight. We attract around 350,000 visitors each year at the museum, and we're hoping that this year we're going to be particularly busy uh, with the RAF 100, as a lot of the aircraft we have in, within our collection are rare, one-off examples, and you won't find them anywhere else in the world. This aerial operation takes place every year and usually the museum closes its doors. This year though, it's remained open and visitors from far and wide have taken an interest. I think it's quite, they're quite brave. Yes, it's quite hard enough to do this kind of job. At the beginning I thought it was taking some movie or something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but after that I recognised it was cleaning and uh, checking things. So uh, yeah, I think that quite good and professional. It's obvious they do need cleaning and checking that they're not going to fall, fall down. Um, but yeah, very interesting to see them working. And it's not only the height, the scale of this task is incredible. For example, the Vulcan bomber here has a wingspan of 111 feet. That is a whole lot of cleaning. The inspection and clean-up will take place all week. This team are used to all kinds of dizzyingly high projects. Some of them have worked on Big Ben in London. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Cosford. It's quite a big job, isn't it? Right. It's